Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another weekly reading. I appreciate all the feedback that I've gotten from last week's and um, hope that there are some significant messages here for you today. Thank you for spending time with me. I'm so appreciative. Thank you, Spirit, for bringing the collective and I together at this point in time. Thank you for allowing me to channel clear messages. Thank you that the collective is receptive and willing to make the changes that they need to implement. In <coughs> Excuse me. Sneeze on the truth. Thank you that the collective is receptive to the guidance that comes through for the changes that they need to make to better their lives overall with so much love in our hearts, clarity in our minds, and gratitude on our lips, we say thank you. All right, so I'm really feeling like this week's message is money related. Or at least that maybe that's me hoping that it's money related. Because, fun fact, I really don't like doing love tarot readings. I don't want to say I don't like them. Everybody loves love, right? But what I mean is I feel like we get so fixated on a wet ass, for lack of a better term, um, that we forget about the other aspects in our life that need our loving care, attention, etc. And so I never want to be perceived as one of those tarot readers that has their YouTube audience stuck in this loop, especially when it comes to the twin flame stuff. Like, I feel like I really could make bank if I were to talk about twin flames and like love readings a lot more because truthfully, that's what the people want to hear. Um, but that's not my purpose for being here. My purpose for being here is to uplift, educate, and inspire y'all to be the best versions of yourselves. Not that that can't be done through romantic partnership. It definitely can. But um, I'm more, co more so concerned about who you are holistically, not just that one part of yourself. You're much more than your genitals and how you can offer pleasure to another human being. Okay, someone needed that message because um, that was a longer ramble than what I was anticipating. But spirit, what? Okay. Wow. And as I say, I'm not talking about love. Love is going to talk about me. <laughs> but okay, first we have four of wands. Seven of Wands and Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay. So last week's reading, we got Ace of Cups. Now we're having Ace of Swords. So following this continuation, like Ace of Cups is about a new beginning in love or just like romantic um, partnership. Um, it has to deal with the emotions and things that are beneath the surface. The suit of swords is about the intellect, mind, thoughts. I'm really drawn to the fact that this ace of swords is depicted with a bunch of ropes behind. This to me speaks to, and that kind of looks like a brain to me. This to me speaks to how you've possibly been just like caught up in your head. Um, and now I'm looking down and seeing that we do have seven of wands. So you definitely felt stuck. Um, like it's, it's been hard for you to overcome limiting beliefs. Um, it's been difficult and challenging for you to break patterns when it comes to your love life, but four of wands and an ace 
that's definitely some type of success that's coming to you. Seven of Wands usually speaks to um, boundaries and being on the defense. I'm not getting that you need to be on the defense about this lover, whether they're currently in your life or like newly coming in. I'm just getting the sense that it's been difficult for you in the past. And so you're trying to break free from um, limiting beliefs, toxic behavior, um, picking people based on old attachment wounds, picking um, situations that don't really, I really hate to say serve you because that's such a cliche term right now, but you not picking partners based on your old attachment wounds from childhood, you learning how to pick partners that feel good to your, your mind, your body, your soul, and your spirit. And so this is the outcome. The outcome of you breaking those, those thought patterns, because with the Ace of Swords being here, like this to me says that you've been going through a lot of turmoil, like in your mental landscape. Um, and it's been extremely emotionally hard for you when it comes to love, when it comes to um, you just, I'm really getting like anxiety, depression, that kind of thing. Like you working really, really hard to not be in that place again. And I think I said that in last week's reading too. So now I'm going to pull from the OG um Moonology deck. This is one of my all-time favorite decks. I want to say this was the first Oracle deck that I got for myself. Um, it is 100% a fave. I hope that that isn't like super loud in your ear. If it is, I do apologize. I'll try to adjust the volume when I edit this. Spirit, can you confirm what area of life this mental clarity and mental breakthrough comes in? <laughs> what area of, of life does this pertain to for the collective? I feel like this is going to manifest differently for everyone, obviously. Um, but I just want to get like a more specific message for our collective. I'm not going to take those. I've been noticing today as I'm shuffling, like a lot of cards are falling out and that normally does not happen for me. So I feel like collectively overall, um, this retrograde is proving to be challenging, not just for mutables, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, and not just for mer mercurials, so people who are under the influence of Mercury. But just for a lot of us, Mercury retrograde is being challenging. Or not challenging, like um, just a lot of shit is coming up to the surface is what I'm getting. Which is not really surprising because we've had a lot of retrogrades this summer happening simultaneously. Okay, I'll take that. Um, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. And adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So recently we've had this shift of North and South Node. Um, I believe the shift was from... I'll have to put it on the screen because I can't really think straight right now. But like what, what I want to come to me is not coming to me is what I mean. So I, I'm going to take that as like that's not the message. But um, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So if you look at your birth chart, North, no North Node speaks to where your luck, where your abundance, where that lies. So this is what you like if you want to look at your birth chart in terms of like what should i be doing with my life or what direction should i be going this is where your luck lies outside of your jupiter placement third quarter moon speaks to as the card suggests adjustments are required but it really just speaks to you tweaking things before the final push before you get to where it is that you want to be 
And I really get the sense that the adjustments that are required of you are, and since they're directly underneath this energy here, what I was speaking to earlier about um, overcoming the mental health issues, the, overcoming the mental blocks, um, because things don't have to be so hard when it comes to love. I'm going to read a little bit out of the book for this because this deck um, deals with a lot of folklore and there's a, a, a message here. But back to this energy, the adjustments that are required are for some of you um, around work, <laughs> how you get your money that you, you, you toxically believe that you have to work hard all day, every day, or else you're not going to get the results that you want. Yes, it is good to have discipline and structure, um, but there's also this need to find balance in your life um, in other areas. For some of you, it is regarding love. Others of you, this speaks to you coming into inner union with yourself, you marrying those other parts. And it's funny because last week we did have the Hierophant come out too. So I really, I really just feel like for a lot of our collective, we are coming into union with divine partners. And I don't want to say divine counterpart and make y'all think, again, the twin flame bullshit. Um, more tea on that later. <laughs> I think I'll just link my twin flame video from last year and the card above. But um, for some of you, this is definitely you coming into inner union. And with step out of your comfort zone here, this definitely speaks to like you've grown comfortable here in the dysfunction for sure. Um, not that it's been a comfortable place, but comfort in terms of for some of you, you have a hard time expressing exactly what it is that you feel. You just, you know that it doesn't feel good. You just don't know how to say it. And I get that. That's why I've been so choppy this entire reading. Like it's been choppy for me to get my words out and, and speak what it is that I want to say. Um, because for some of you, you are experiencing that. But stepping out of your comfort zone, I feel like this directly ties back to this energy here of like, you working so damn hard to get yourself back to a really good place mentally. Um, I heard before, but want to remind you that <laughs> after traumatic events, the goal should not be for you to get back to where you were before because the traumatic event occurred so that you could go to a new place. It's for you to find out something different about yourself. I'm sorry for whatever that is, and I'm not trying to mitigate it or sweep it under the rug, but I want to encourage you to not get stuck in that place. And I feel like this is what spirit is cautioning you this week, like not to get stuck in this, this mental landscape, to focus your attention on your end prize, your end goal. Um, and your end goal should definitely be that, that happiness, that joy, that fulfillment, that ace of cups. With the ace of swords here, especially with it coming out in a different deck, like, I feel like spirit is saying, like, there's so much opportunity for newness here. There's so much opportunity for growth. Um, if only you would step out of your comfort zone, make those adjustments um, and really push yourself to flip the script and rewrite the verdict in terms of what you think is possible for you in love, in finances, in career overall. So let's see, four of wands. Um, this is a, a tale from India, Sanskrit epic poem. The four of wands represents rejoicing and festivities, a well-deserved celebration, and a stable time to be thankful, cherishing loved ones. Mohini and Erevan embrace each other, enjoying the time before the next adventure begins. The next adventure, like we've gotten two aces back to back weeks like <laughs> there's definitely some newness on the horizon there's definitely a new adventure about to begin um in the book it says upright reunion success pride happiness family um reverse it speaks to self-doubt 
diaspora cancel plans and gloom. Um, but it did come out upright for us. So I'm taking that and running with it. Let me see if there's one more card that spirit has for us that spirit wants to talk through. Let's see what these are. Two of coins and 10 of, wow. We literally had 10 of pentacles in the last reading. Like, um, if you didn't tap into last week's reading, I'm going to put it in the description box because I don't think I can do two cards in one video. But um, <sighs> 10 of coins and two of coins in reverse. Somebody's definitely contemplating, like, if a specific person or um specific plans are good for the long haul page of coins here um trying to figure out like where to invest your time your energy your money your resources um again i'm always going to be a proponent for you fixing yourself first before trying to jump into a relationship because you definitely don't want to cause more damage to someone else but this feels like a lot of healing taking place because of you being in connection. Like, I feel like a lot of times people, especially on the internet, talk about how like you being in separation or you just like isolating yourself to figure yourself out. Like, yes, 100% do that. But I feel like that speaks to extreme situations like... I'm getting um, a message of like first responders. So like when an accident happens, we don't isolate the accident. Like, yes, we move the car, the vehicles, we move them over to the side of the road, but that's so that it doesn't, it doesn't affect traffic. Now, of course, people will continue to rubberneck, but when you do get in the accident, like, if there's injuries to either parties in the cars, like you call 911, you get help. And so I'm not saying to go out and look for someone to help heal you, but I'm saying that it does happen when the healing comes from you being in relationship. And that's because relationships in general, like not just romantically, relationships in general, like the purpose of the creator providing us with human connection is so that we can look at each other as mirrors and see like where we need to work where we need to improve um see things that need to happen within us because we're always it's it's so easy for us to see crystal clear what the other person needs to do to fix themselves and so when you feel like you're caught up in this a cycle of like, oh, well, I want to fix this part of this person. Like, if they would just do this, if I, if they could see what I see, like, okay, well, what about you seeing what you saw in that other person? What about you seeing that within yourself? One more card, please, Spirit. I'm not taking those. I'll take this one, the magician. So, yeah. Double, 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 double confirmation that something new is definitely on the horizon. Um, this is definitely something that you have worked hard for and prayed hard for. So your faith has matched the works. Because remember, faith without works is dead. Oh, these two cards, I'll take these. Faith without works is dead. Another page. Somebody might be pregnant because that's the second page. We, we initially had um, page of pentacles and then we have death. Um, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of this, but a lot of times when a new baby is born, um, an, an older person in the family fought. Um, why am I getting tripped up again with words? It's mercury energy. Um <laughs> As the new person enters the family and as they gain their, their energy, the older person in the family gains their wings. And it's not because we can't have multiple people in the family at the same time. Like that's just, it's the law of balance. It's the law of reciprocity, it, you know, evening the scales. 
Um, I'm not saying that you can expect to have a family member die, but that just was coming through right now. Um, for some of you, this is definitely a rebirth of self. It's like you feel like a totally new person after you have this mental breakdown or mental breakthrough. For some of you, it is a breakdown or it feels like a breakdown. But when you look back on this period of time, you'll realize that you're actually pulling the curtains back on yourself and allowing a new you to be born, a more passionate you, um, somebody who is not afraid to take risks, someone who is not afraid to just get up and go. I want to read Page of Wands from the book too. Let's see. This one was a little bit longer than what I was anticipating, but the energy is flowing, so I'm not going to stop it. Mwendo, Republic of the Congo. Yanga mythology. The Page of Wands represents a childlike optimism and carefree rebellion. For Mwendo, every situation is made fun by a swish of his magical fly swatter. Yeah, so it's you, like, this fly swatter is you paying attention to when negative thoughts or old thought patterns come up, you getting rid of them so that you can continue to be high vibe and transition into this space of where your, your manifestations materialize. He makes many enemies, but just as many friends who help him in his journey. Upright, playfulness, charisma, discovery, a rogue, enthusiasm, reverse, naivety, petulance, a lack of imagination, pessimism. So the reverse, I feel like, speaks to, again, those negative thought patterns that you've adopted because life has been hard. Life has not been fun up until this point. And so if you still are experiencing that energy, like the guidance here is to continue to work at clearing your energy, continue to work at reframing and reshaping those negative thoughts because it won't be like this forever this is possible that's all i have for you today thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you on next week's reading you know where to find me if you need me if you would like to book a personal reading um, if you would like to keep up with me on a day-to-day -day basis my socials are in the description below but until next time i love you so much ciao